surface mainly two type of things are there one is non living another is living thing the non living things we discussed about the mountains we have discussed a related related word to mountains rocks and stones and second category is that related to water that these three four things are there that is easily visible on earth surface like mountain water land afterwards you can say fire and next will be your ice or you can say cold these four five things are there that is major category of your non living thing and uh, after all these combination of non living things it will create the life living thing will start will go just forward this is uh, this story will continue then now we are discussing about the water and root word of water is unda and based on that uh, uh, one of the famous word is there that is inundate inundate can be used mainly in literally sense like very heavy rain related to heavy rain or heavy downpour plenty of words are there relentless less cloud worst after that deluge of rain all is related to heavy rain but only difference is there if you are using all these words then it must be there this rain is capable to do certain extent of damage like this image you can see this is a famous image of kedarnath 2013 when there uh, you can say incessant rain has come and afterwards that rain has created a lot of damages kedarnath was inundated in 2013 related to same word same root is there abound abound means away and unda means water if water is going away or if you have the bucket you can just imagine one bucket is there and water is little more than whatever uh, capacity of bucket then what will happen it will flow away it will overflow just suppose the same thing you can apply in figurative way whatever you have the capacity to capacity of uh, money or whatever uh, requirement is there if you have more than that then you are a bond person super rich person 